In this tutorial, we are going to multiply sorts by their conjugates. But before then, let us discuss more about these conjugates because I have started making some introduction about them. Two sorts are said to be conjugate of one another if and only if their product rise to a rational number because you know uh, sort are said to be irrational but their product if they are conjugate will rise to a rational number. The best way to explain this is by the use of difference of two squares. You know if you have product of two binomial terms, two exact but have a difference of sign. You can see we have AB, AB, but the operation connecting them is opposite to one another. This is positive while this is negative. Let us try to expand this. A multiplied by this, we have A, A minus B, then plus. B multiplied by that, A minus B. So now let us expand this. A times A is A squared. A times negative B is negative AB. Then we move to the other one, plus. B times A is the same thing as A times B. So we can write it as AB. Then B times negative B is negative B squared. Look at the middle term. They are opposite to one another. Negative AB plus AB is zero. So we only have this last and the first term. A squared minus B squared. The same thing is applicable to sort. If you have sort A plus sort B, and this is said to multiply sort A minus sort B, you can see they only have difference of sign, but all the sorts are exactly the same. It is the same thing as saying sort A squared minus sort B also squared, difference of two squares. Square will always cancel square root, so we have A minus B. Remember I told you the number under the radical sign is always rational. So A is rational, B is rational, difference of two rational number is also rational. So you can see that by multiplying these two sorts together, we obtain a rational number while the initial uh, sorts are said to be irrational. So the product of these two sorts gives rise to a rational number. Therefore, we say these sorts are said to be conjugates of one another. They only have difference of sign. The same thing is applicable here. If you are looking for the conjugate of root 3 minus root 2, it is going to be root 3 plus root 2, just difference of sign. Here that we have positive, we take the negative sign. Wherever you have negative, you take the positive sign. So now let us see how we can multiply this full set of sorts to see whether we are going to obtain a rational number. So let's start with this one, root 3 minus root 2. You know the conjugate of this is root 3 plus root 2. Now take the first term, square it, negative sign, take the second term, also square it. This is the same thing as, uh, if you like you can even expand this, root 3 squared is the same thing as root 3 times root 3, which will give rise to root 9. And you know root 9 is equal to 3. So without even doing this, power of 2 will just cancel the square root, leaving 3, the same thing here. And finally, we have 1. And 1 is a rational number. So you can see that by multiplying this sort by its conjugate, the result is rational. The same is true for all other sorts. Let us move on to the second one. The second one is 2 root 5, so we have 2 root 5 plus 3 root 3. This is the sort we have. The conjugate of this will be 2 root 5 minus 3 root 3. 
take the first term here, which is 2 root 5 squared minus. The second term is 3 root 3 also squared. This time around, you can see we have a mixed sort. So this power of 2 will affect everything here, both 2 and root 5. So this becomes 2 squared root 5 squared minus 3 squared root 3 also squared. 2 squared is 4 because 2 times 2 is 4. Multiply by power of 2 will cancel square root leaving 5 here. Minus 3 squared is 9 times 3. 4 times 5 is um, 20. Minus 9 times 3 is 27. If you subtract this, you obtain negative 7 because 27 is greater than 20. And hence, the result must be negative. But negative 7 is still a rational number. You can see that after multiplying this, we obtain a rational number. Let us move on to the third one. The third one is 4 root 2 minus 5 root 5. 4 root 2 minus 5 root 5. The conjugate of this will be 4 root 2 plus 5 root 5. These are also mixed sorts. We take the first one, 4 root 2. We square it. We subtract, we take 5 root 5. We equally square it. All right. 4 squared is 16 because 4 times 4 is 16. Then multiply by root 2 squared is 2 minus. 5 squared is 25 because 5 times 5 is 25. Root 5 squared is 5. So 16 times 2 is 32 minus 25 times 5 is 125 because 25 times 4 is 100. Um, and if you subtract um, 125 from 32, you know 125 is greater, the answer will be negative. So the best way is to say 125 minus 32, then you put negative sign at the back, which is going to be negative 93. And negative 93 is a rational number. Let us move on to the last one. We have 1 plus root 2. This time around, you can see that the first time here is rational, while this is sort. But notwithstanding, we can still take the conjugate of this, which is the same thing as 1 minus root 2. 1 squared minus root 2 also squared, difference of 2 squares. 1 squared is 1, root 2 squared is 2, 1 minus 2 is negative 1, and negative 1 is a rational number. So this is exactly how to multiply sort by its conjugate, and this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.